All right, so to find MCI, same thing as before, right? We got to go to the periodic table. So let's look at the periodic table and find F, R, and P, okay? So if you guys look for F, R, F, R is a little tricky to find. It's down here on the bottom left. So F, R is going to be positive one. Okay, so let's write down F, R plus on our notebook. So it'll be F, R, and then that'll be plus one. And it's because it's right here in this column, the plus one column. Everybody okay with that one? All right, the other one is P. And if you take a look at P on the periodic table, phosphorus is right here. And so P is going to be in the negative three column. So that means P is gonna be P three minus. Okay. Right. Any questions on those two? Okay. Again, just look at the pattern on the periodic table. Okay, so let's write the chemical equation now. So if we take a look at this, um, do we have more positive or negative energy? Negative, negative right? It's three minus. So we got to balance it out by adding some positive FRs. So if we add a total of three, it, it can balance out the negative three right here. So we'll need a total of three FRs and one phosphorus. And so that's how we write the chemical equation. So that's the left side. So our starting chemicals are three FRs and one P. That's what we covered last time. Okay. If it still helps you out to write down that there's three FRs, please feel free to do that. Um, but that's not necessary. If you could just put a three in the front, that's totally fine. Okay. All right, so let's write down the chemical that we make. So we're going to make one chemical. And the chemical that we make is going to be made out of three FRs. So we're going to write FR3. And we only need one phosphorus. So we're going to put a P right here. Okay. So there you go. And again, your chemical equation has to look exactly like that. The numbers, the letters, they have to be in the correct order. All right, so I'll pause right there, but you guys have any questions on how we solve that? Hopefully it's not too bad. All right, so let me give you guys about three minutes. See if you guys can do number two with the person next to you. Um, the cation is OS3+. plus. I'm just going to write it a little bit bigger for you. And then the other, the anion is BR, and you got to find the MCI. So take about three minutes, find the MCI for BR, and see if you can finish up the rest of that equation. Okay, and then we'll go over it and then we'll be all done. Okay, so we're gonna find the MCI for BR. So if you take a look at BR, BR is right here on the right side. So it's gonna be negative one. So BR is negative one. Yeah. Okay, so to balance this out, um, hopefully you can see it's kind of the opposite of the one that we just did. You're gonna need three BRs to balance out one OS. And so if you put them together, since you only need one of the OSs, you can put OS by itself and then BR3, okay? And so if you guys were able to get that on your own, great job. You're in great shape for the assignment today and the quiz. Um, but this is gonna be the formatting that you need. Again, the numbers and the letters have to go in the exact right places.